Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you from Westlake Village, California. It is bright, it's early, it's Friday, and we're going to take a look at Bitcoin on the shorter term time frame as this is a one minute. Bitcoin has broken out and is apparently heading up to a target, um, but short term pullback is in play right now. And why do I say that? Well, um, you're going to have several drives of bearish divergence coming back from this pivot right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way back. Looking for Bitcoin to pull back to 65,608 in the short term. That is, uh, you'd be surprised what you can get done on the one minute time frame. And maybe we should take a look at high block capital to see if any more downside targets could be, um, established with the little bubbles chart here and the next target down on bitcoin is going to be this bright yellow bubble at 66,068 and then i'd be looking around 66 excuse me that was not the bubble uh 65,000 that's this bright one and we've got the bottom so see if we can do a round trip here uh for this dot here is going to come in at 63.6 so just lining that up on the charts to see if we can make uh any sense of it here i'm just taking a look at another trade i have on the shorter term time frame for solana uh but Generally speaking, as you break this one minute downtrend, you will get a free ride down to the 200, which is that white 200 simple. So we'll see if the strategy uh, plays out for now. Volatility increasing coming into that green 55. So potential bounce here in the short term as well. Uh, 15 minute ticking below uh, that low. Again, free ride down to the 9, 65, 9 and 65,300. Overall, uh, this breakout looks good and could get a bit of a deeper target here. Looking for a 1618 FIB target on Bitcoin for 67.5. Uh, that definitely looks like it could be in play. And how would you want to play that? Me personally, right? It doesn't happen all in one shot, but I'd be looking at something like this. You know, we break out. All right, we faked everybody out, get them long. And then come down here, maybe down to the 618, maybe down to the 0 0.5, and then put in some bullish divergence, and then, you know, take one more stab at that high, and then make the move all the way back to 67,000 over the weekend, perhaps. Perhaps that uh, could do it for us. And what else do i want to bring up here do i want to take a little small little profit on this trade or am i going to let it to the to the youtube streaming uh chances here all right next up on bitcoin and just overall uh daily just kind of summing up what we were going over the past couple of days here is the wyckoff accumulation spring a bounce off the 200 and then we're on lower high watch. Lower highs come in anywhere at the 618 or the 786 coming in at 68,241, which does look like, um, you know, it could be a potential opportunity there um, to put in. I don't know. They're calling it a head short. But, you know, if you are aggressively long at this point, you know, you want to cover some of those positions um, in case. This is a bit of a fake out, uh, but to me, it looks like pretty good. And the Wyckoff accumulation spring box, right? Here's your range. You dip below the range, grab the liquidity, and then you typically just bang to the top side of the range and you get uh, a little stutter step at the highs, you know, something like this. Boom, boom. And then we'd be looking for that deeper target at 84,000. Um, where does this get invalidated back below 60,500 or below the white 200 simple? Probably going to be good enough for uh, me to say, you know, that $47,000 target is going to be in play. Other than that, we're looking good on Bitcoin. Uh, this is the one concern I do have, and it does look like we are getting the gap fill on NASDAQ. 
Um, and that is this that, uh, well, potentially, potentially, what do we have here? Uh, well, a bit of a correction down to the green 55. And I believe that is what we said this week because there's bearish divergence across the board here on Mr. NASDAQ. Probably coming all the way back from this high, but let's see. Well, we got this very strong drive, one, two, two drives, three. Uh, let's see, do we have anything going back from this high? Yeah, all the way back from over here. And so, yeah, bearish divergence playing out here down to the green 55, uh, more likely than not. Let's check out Mr. Dixie as well to see if he's given us anything. S&P down, Dow down. The biggest loser of the day is going to be the Dow Jones. Um, what else do I want to bring up here? TLT, nothing to report home there. Let's just quickly see. We did break the trend, retested, and onwards and upwards for TLT. Looks like, um, you know, we are getting a bit of a flip here on this one. That's a 20-year Treasury BlackRock iShares Fund, TLT, pretty popular in the financial world. Um, what else do I want to bring up in... Before I get distracted, there's the two year. The VIX had a quite volatile day, uh, went down. As the VIX goes up, typically stocks go down. Uh, so I wonder what's happening over there. Uh, Bitcoin up $2,200. There's our boxes. There's our boxes, right? So we hit both the box of peace and prosperity and death and despair. Um, we are right in the zone for you know lower high watch again once again as volatility is expanding it looks like we're gonna have another few days on this um on this party but this is going to be a high value area right here right above here so uh daily closure back above this high value candle which to me it's not even looking like it has that much value because it's pretty been pretty much covered um right in here so you can see we just wicked off of that thing and <laughs> that thing and i do have a position that again i think i was talking to you guys about this in the beginning of the stream here a new little strategy i've been working on on the one minute time frame that's been working out quite beautifully but here it is on solana and we just broke the one minute downtrend. So you're getting that free ride down the white 200. And that's typically where I'd want to enter a little bit more myself. Um, so I am going to get off um, here shortly. Is there any altcoins I wanted to cover today? Uh, Bonk up 11% today. I'm going to be keeping an eye, a keen eye on this one. Uh, say up 5%. Phantom up 5%. So alt's getting a nice a nice breather here. Let's see if they get a bit of a cool down over um, the short term. I want to see these on a higher term time frame. So after getting quite beat up, Phantom uh, potentially putting in a higher low here. Um, what is the next one on the list here? Hmm. Injective. Another very uh highly esteemed internet protocol um looking quite beautiful at the moment pepe four percent bit of a sloppy chart there but uh getting back above a critical zone attempting a higher low here that looks good um super coming into a major trend line i was going to say or super solo solo Solana, uh, this this should be a major area of contention. I don't think we're going to blast through here in one shot. Um, this is the daily time frame, and very much so, like the other assets, uh, we are probably coming right, not even quite to the 618. So maybe we do have a little bit more on this bounce, but I do imagine that this is going to be an area of, of contention and volatility for Solana. And so I'd be keeping a keen eye on this one as well. Because if we do break out, I mean, the measure move on this triangle is going to be quite significant. Um, 
And I am long-term bullish on Solana. Uh, I am long-term bullish on this asset. I'm going to start taking positions out in batches, and I do have to get another position in here soon. So anything else I wanted to cover? Bitcoin dominance, we want to check that out. Uh, taking a leg up here. Interesting. That's bullish for Bitcoin. Very, very bullish for Bitcoin. Bitcoin dominance going up. Interesting. Ton, I did want to check in on as well. Uh, getting a bit of a breakout today. This thing, uh, oh yeah, this is the daily time frame. The thing that never goes down. It, it's kind of like the stock market. Ton, doing very, very well. Fetch AI, looks that looks bearish to me. Uh, you know, might get a test of that 200 one more time, but uh, that looks like a solid rejection uh for the daily time frame on fetch a lot of fans of alluvium out there uh hitting the 786 looks like it wants to bounce a little bit more uh alluvium grok i don't know what this thing is it reminds me of a crocodile bottom of the range uh w formation probably has a little bit more to go here at about not point not nine cents um I know I wanted to go over one other thing. Here's Solana Bitcoin uh, breaking the long-term downtrend. Um, putting in a bull flag again, you know, why Solana's been outperforming Bitcoin uh, this year. Um, let's check out WIF real quick. Oh, yeah, the WIF trade that looks plentiful on WIF's time frame, which is this here. Um, We just reclaimed the range here. Is this the daily? Let's put it on a 12 hour. <clears throat> we just reclaimed the daily range. Coming into the white 200. <clears throat> w formation. So I do look at this one for a target, you know, longer term back up to here. Uh, as Solana just hit its major trend line, right? Um, right, you would expect that um, locking in some profits, got to do it, dang it. Locking in a little profits. <clears throat> All right. Um, this one you would expect is a 12 hour. Here's the daily. I mean, dailies, um, you know, with the stop loss. I mean, I don't like it yet. I, I, I'm not ready to go. But um, if you're really bullish here, we just reclaimed the range and you'd be playing it up to the mid range. Am I viewing this right here? Where's the mid range? Don't want to give you a bad target here. Is that right, guys? I don't know. Vote in the comments below. And checking in on Tuker, making a major rally back up over the past couple of days. Political things, you know, we said are going to make a comeback up 300%. Uh, fantastic, Mr. Tuker. I do like that one. Uh, one of my favorite uh, meme tokens. Uh, Brett, interesting chart as well, making a higher low and potentially going back to the top side of the range here at uh, 16 cents. That's a big move for this one. Uh, that's a big move. Again, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but uh, short term on the hourly, this one is going to play very nicely. So I'll be keeping a bright eye on that one. With that, guys, I'm going to leave you. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.